criminals. Some criminals have done absolutely atrocious crimes that are 100% unforgivable. However, some of them kind of creative, not gonna lie. Art history is a very long time. No doubt, you're gonna get some artists that have committed heinous atrocities since basically the dawn of men. So today, we're looking at some artworks created by people that have committed heinous crimes. Or maybe crimes that aren't so bad, who knows. I don't know, I just pulled up a couple lists. We're gonna take a look, we're gonna react, we're gonna make a couple funnies. Alright, here we go. This is from Listverse, and this article was published in 2018, so Chris Chan ain't on this list. Of course, Caravaggio, the most infamous artist that committed a crime in history. One of the most influential artists, too. Founder of the Baroque period if you will. Yeah, he the guy. guy. You know why? Because he lost the tennis match. Funny thing is, is that he went on the run from the law. He was hiding out in Naples or like around that area. And there's a lot of paintings that like may or may not be attributed to Caravaggio. Also, he got an official pardon. I don't know if you know about this. The Pope pardoned the guy because, you know, he's buddies with the Pope and like they're good friends because if you're uh, good friends with the elites, you can get away with basically anything. Nothing has changed. Yeah, I don't want to react to Caravaggio. He's a classical painter from the Renaissance era. Everybody knows him. All right, let's move along. Let's see. Charles Bronson. Okay, I don't know what I'm looking at here. The hell is even that? We'll pull up some more of his artwork on a separate tab. If I don't know who they are, I'm going to look up their artwork first, then look up what crime they did. Okay, so this is artwork by one Charles Bronson, the most violent prisoner. Um... Okay, that's interesting. <laughs> okay, hmm. Never walk backwards into a madman's nightmare because you won't escape it. I mean, I think it's kind of shit to be honest. I don't really see, uh, okay, that's kind of weird. I don't know, it's got really bad perspective, that's for sure. I mean, like, he tried here. It's a lot of things that are labeled. Is this a political cartoon or something? Looks like he's using really ass paper. I don't like it, I don't like it. Think like that, poop! He's got a mustache, looks like Dr. Robotnik took some meth. Like, what, what, what the fuck am I looking at? <laughs> okay, and there's a dog that's shitting a human. Yeah, I don't like it. <laughs> anyway, what did he do? Not the most violent prisoner. Oh, he's British. That's probably why he went to jail, because being British should be a crime. I mean, have you seen their food? Fucking beans on toast, mate. That's a fucking meal. Fucking porridge. <laughs> uh, seven years. Okay, armed robbery. Okay, he was just an asshole. Harry Horse, children's book illustrator. Oh boy, I, I hope it's not a. I hope he didn't pull a. Well, I can't say the p word, so we'll just say Biden. I hope he didn't pull a Biden. <laughs> These illustrations are cute. You know, whimsical children's illustration. Little bear. I like it. A very children's book aesthetic. Okay, a little character stuff. You know, Jimi Hendrix really exaggerated the lips there. Like maybe a little too much. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna touch that one. That one's cool. I like that one. The little horse dude. Richard Horn. Okay, that was his actual name. Okay, yeah, I mean this one's kinda cool. Lots of pen and ink stuff. You know all these heads here. What did he do? He went insane Minecraft himself along with Minecrafting his wife. <sighs> you know, this really isn't like this is mental illness that's gone untreated. It's kinda sad. Bear and Hounds by Francisco Franco. Okay, that's a pretty cool painting. Francisco Franco. Haven't heard of him. Okay. He's really old, huh? <laughs> General Franco. Did he commit war crimes? Is that it? Okay. A little bit more uh, traditional style. You know, maybe a touch of, uh, just a touch of that, uh, what do you call that, abstract expressionism. You know, a little looseness in the brush strokes it looks like. I like that background. I'm not really a big fan of this, like, uh, classical, like, realism style. Um, I'm not impressed by it, to be perfectly honest. I don't really like it too much. And it's not that, like, it's not technically, like, oh, yeah, this guy's got skill. It's more like it's not creative at all. You know what I mean? I mean, I could understand, like, maybe he, like, put... Uh, arrange these things and compose them in a neat way, but at the same time, all you really need to draw or paint photorealistically is a good reference in a lot of time. It doesn't amaze me, you know what I mean? I mean, I guess... Oh, eh, it's alright, what did he do? Oh, okay, he was uh, a general in the Spanish Civil War. Okay. Style art by Wayne Lowe. Okay. Why do all these guys have such, like, common-sounding names? Is that Nemesis? Oh no, that's not Nemesis. Wayne Lowe, Concept Art World. I don't think so. I think it's this guy. 
Yeah, so I guess he did these, like, what do you call those textiles? Patterns? I mean, it's kind of neat. That dude got his head cut off. I like this one. Did he do this one? No. <laughs> That's some guy named Wayne Healy. I don't know what you're doing in this video, but I like this one, if you happen to see this. This is good work. I don't know. Butterflies are cool. These, these are kind of neat. These more, like, uh, surrealist ones. The more, like, representational ones like this, kind of, eh, but, like, these more, like, trippy ones where it's, like, got, like, weird stuff and patterns going on, too. Uh, I think it's kind of cool. Anyway, what did he do? Racist, homophobic, and anti-Semitic. Yeah, okay, but what year was it? Because everything is fucking racist, homophobic, and anti-Semitic now. 92? Okay, so maybe he will... Oh, wait. Portrayed a shoot... Oh, he was a school shooter. Oh. Oh. Then he probably was actually racist, homophobic, and uh, anti-Semitic. <laughs> That's, uh... I'm sorry about that. It's got real bleak real fast. I knew it was going to, but Jesus Christ. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Reggie Cray. The Cray Twins. I've heard of these guys. They did some really fucked up shit. But this artwork is awesome. What the hell? <laughs> Hold on. I gotta look at some of this guy's art. Okay. A little bit of abstract expressionism vibes. It's all for 12,000 euros. I don't know what that is in American, but you guys can do the math. That That one sucks. I'm sorry, but that one is garbage. This one right here, though, in this article, this one is awesome. I like that one a lot. Okay, lots of, like, this looks like some kindergarten painting. <laughs> Alright, that one's better. That one's pretty good. I guess he got better over time. Maybe this is, like, older stuff. Might be self-taught. I've heard of the Cray Twins, but I don't remember exactly what they did. They did something horrible. <laughs> okay, this was the one I was looking at. I like this one a lot, actually. I love all the use of blue here and, like, the little dips of yellow poking out. And these, like, creepy faces that are, like, lit, like, just perfectly. Like, what the hell? <laughs> flowers, I think. Okay, really loose, rough flowers. You know, that's kind of cool. I don't know, I like it a little. I like some of the work, not all of the work. What what exactly did they do? I know they did something horrible. East End Gangsters. Okay, they were gangsters, but what exactly did they do? Oh, they're English? A fucking British guy? What's with all these fucking British lads? Oi! Fucking tea and crumpets, oi! <laughs> Binge and toast! You guys ever click on, like, a gaming channel and, like, it turns out they're British and they're always like, Alright, mate! She's I we're looking at some fucking video games, alright? <sighs> Fuck! You know what I'm talking about? You guys ever come across that type of British YouTube? I don't like that stuff. Every time I see like a long video with like an interesting topic, maybe relating to like the video game industry, I click on it and I'm like, don't be British, don't be British, don't be British. It's like, oi mate, you look like your fucking shit, oi. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get banned from the UK. Countless murders and armed robberies. Okay. That's gangster shit, you know? Like, they, they probably didn't like kill any like regular civilians. They probably only killed other gangsters. But I don't know. I don't know the story, so uh, don't quote me on that. All right, man under threat by one Jimmy Boyle. Again, with these, like, really bland names, man. Scottish gangster Jimmy Boyle. Okay. Okay, so he's a sculptor. That's pretty good, I guess. I don't know. I'm not really here to judge sculpt. That's pretty cool. Oh, he's a convicted murderer. Okay. Outstanding. Is that him? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets an exhibition, though. Even though, you know, he's a murderer. Maybe that's what I gotta do to uh, take off. I mean, maybe I gotta Minecraft somebody. How big is that thing? Good lord. Alright, I mean, I can't really comment too much on sculpture. I'm out of a drawing, painting kind of guy. I'm onto these yellow stands by Richard Dad. Dad, really? That's his last name? That's pretty cool. I like that little fantastical. Wait, I feel like I've seen this guy's stuff before. Pretty sure I've seen this guy's stuff before. Victorian era, okay. Yes. I, I recognize this art. Very good. Definitely more in that, like, uh, Renaissance kind of style. But, like, with a little bit of a fantastical element. That's pretty cool. Titties. Gotta blur. Maybe. I don't know. Depends. If it's a classical painting, it's alright. <laughs> For some reason. <laughs> Yeah, this painting in particular. What the hell was the name of this? Uh, Fantastical Fairy Paintings of Richard Dead. 
I mean, it's pretty cool. I like the uh, colors, you know, the fantastical element. I like how overcrowded this looks, but how it's actually very legible at the same time. It's kind of weird. Wasn't this guy like in a mental asylum or something? Sacrifice to the gods, suggesting they swiftly killed his father and offered a prayer to Osiris. Okay, yeah, so he went nuts. Poor bastard. He was very talented. That's a shame. This is probably before, like, they could actually treat people with mental illnesses. I mean, I think it's horrible that he killed his father, but... You know, a lot of these things could have been prevented if, like, people got proper mental health care. This would be a perfect spot for, like, a BetterHelp sponsor, but... We don't have enough subs yet! Why aren't you subscribed? <laughs> subscribe or I'll Minecraft you! Plus, you can see all the degenerate stuff getting recommended to me down here. We got two more on this list. I really hope one isn't Hitler, because, like, we all know. We all know Hitler was an artist. Uh, but we got this one first, uh, Devon Village Lane by a Ford by Olive Wary. Buildings? Does lots of buildings, it looks like. Environments, you know, that kind of thing. Just a lot of landscapes and buildings. I kind of like this one. This one's kind of cool. It's got good perspective. He knows his perspective. I mean, good-ish perspective. It looks like it's a little warped on one side, but... Hey, man, I kind of like it. Doesn't look like there's a lot. I mean, yeah. I'm literally looking at this one right now. But yeah, I mean, it's all right. I mean, it's all right, like... You know, oh, it's the same one. He's got like four paintings here. <laughs> There's not enough for me to really bring an opinion, but what did he do? Let's see. Okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Of course it's Hitler. Of course. Literally Hitler. <laughs> I'm very disappointed. Well, well, we'll take a look at some Hitler art after this, I guess. Just give it a look. I guess. Oh! Olive. I was reading as Oliver. I guess she didn't do much. Forgive me. Forgive me. I would like to apologize. <laughs> okay. Not really. I definitely I read that as Oliver. Terrorist acts, including the arson of a tea pavilion in Kew Gardens for which she was arrested. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Protest for women's, like, suffrage, like, all right, I mean, I, I don't know if you should have arrested her. I mean, she did break some windows. It's a little fucked up. But... Yeah, the uh, arson, yeah, that's when that's when it's like, all right, this isn't about, like, rights. This is just you being an asshole. I feel like a lot of those things start out with good intentions, but then they end up going, you know, off the rails and being horrible. I mean, history is repeating itself now, but I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, Adolf Hitler. We all know the story of Adolf Hitler. I'm not going to get into it, you know. Damn, that's one of his paintings? Shit. <laughs> what the hell, man? How come he didn't get into art school? <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, man. Hitler was an absolutely reprehensible, disgusting, pedophilic, swine, scumbag piece of shit, and we're all glad he's dead. But, in terms of, like, technical skill, <laughs> he was a pretty good artist. <laughs> I don't know, man. This is more like one of those, like, art from the artist kind of conversations. This is not a conversation I want to have right now, but... From a technical standpoint, from technically, this perspective is good, right? The building is accurate. The lighting is decent, right? The composition, you got the negative space here. You got a good framing, right? Uh, look at this one. It has a good use of negative space, you know, really good rendering. The reflections in the water. <laughs> like, damn, they should have let him into art school, huh? <laughs> I am going to have to edit the fuck out of this part. <laughs> okay, I 100% do not condone anything this piece of shit did, alright? This video is going to get me cancelled. But technically speaking, <laughs> I'm going to draw people for shit, huh? Guess he didn't care about them. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here before I cancel myself. This has been a video from Listverse. Maybe I'll leave the link in the description. You just look it up yourself. Uh, my favorite from this list. I mean, we're going to exclude Caravaggio and Hitler because, like, everybody knows them. You know, from uh, 9 between 2, we got my favorite might have been... This is my favorite piece overall, but the rest of the work is shit. But this is a pretty... I, I don't know. I just really like this painting. Uh, yeah, probably... Probably um, Richard Dad here. Anyway, guys, this video is going to be a nightmare to edit. Thanks for watching. Uh, we're going to do some actual art making next time. I just wanted to get into the vibe of talking to the camera again because I've been away for a while. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.